Right, well this has been one of our more challenging ones to find. I, I suppose the easiest way to think about it, the Chippenham Fields are in this direction, and I like to navigate by rugby posts anyway, mm -hmm. so there are the posts, that's the way to find this one. Right, and it's worth finding because this is the Nelson Garden, and it's yet another example of the really profound impact that Nelson's visit had on the town, and indeed still does. Indeed still does have today. Well, it looks interesting, doesn't it? We'd better go in and have a look. And a bonus, when we do, we'll have a chance to meet and talk to eminent local archaeologist Steve Clark. Right. So, shall we have a look? Hello, Steve. Bora da. Well, Steve, I think we've just walked across some really interesting archaeology, haven't we? Yes, indeed. You've, you've just crossed the defences of the, probably the earliest Roman fort in Wales, okay. uh, in the middle 50s. Mm -hmm. It runs uh, at right angles to, to the building, for the, to the garden here. And just the other side is the, uh, a huge uh, medieval Norman ditch, cutting off the whole of the, uh, this side of the town from, from the floodplain. Fascinating. And you've done quite a lot of work in here, haven't you? We've excavated in the garden here. Well, we went down 10 feet there and hardly got into the Roman ditches. But over the wall, uh, the archaeology there is uh, fantastic. We had 10 years digging in the building there, the long building. We've got uh, Bronze Age, Iron Age, Early Roman, Late Roman, the Roman town, of course, um, uh, Dark Age after the Romans, uh, and then, of course, a whole series of medieval uh, and, and later archaeology there. Place. So some fascinating archaeology. It has changed a bit though, hasn't it? Well, yes. I don't know when it became a garden, but we know there was a real tennis court here in the 17th century. And of course a bowling green in the early 18th century. All oh, right. It'd be nice to have a go today, wouldn't it? Yeah. 